Good morning, everyone. Now, here's an interesting thought. Somebody asked me this question. Samir, how do I make sure that I create great videos and have a great message to speak or share and put up these kind of stories? And here's what I want to share with you guys today. There are three parts to a story or three parts to any speech. And I'm not talking about the opening body and conclusion, which is typical that you should have in every speech that you deliver. There has to be a clear opening, a body and a conclusion, but that's not the part that I'm talking about over here today. Imagine this. There are actually three parts to a speech where one is the speech itself, the content, and then there is the delivery. And there is a third part which is in between this, between speech and delivery. And that is what I call energy. Now, if you focus on these three elements and ask yourself, what am I doing in these three parts? You'll start seeing how you can craft better speeches. Now, if you have a speech which is focused on adding value, then automatically the energy that will be here will be positive. If your content is focused on you and not the audience, then there might be fear or there might be reluctance or there might be doubts in your mind about you're, you're thinking about yourself you're thinking about how will I look what will I be how will people perceive me am I good enough on camera you'll have all these doubts because over here in your speech in your content when you're creating it you're thinking about you versus if you start thinking about your audience it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how clumsy this video is right now actually it doesn't matter that today I have I'm sitting inside the room and not standing on the ground and speaking to you guys because I promised you guys that I would run. I will. I'm going after this. But it's so much more comfortable without a mask to speak to you guys. So my, my true intention is to add value, right? So my true intention is to give something of value to you. Ask yourself. And we are all good at something. We are all amazing at something. There's something about our lives that it has taught us. A life is... And all the struggles that we go through in life is not to be wasted. And when we have that intention that it has to not be wasted, what we can truly do through our struggles is extract the juice out of it, extract the stories out of it, extract the lessons out of it, and then share it with the world, share it with everyone around you. It could be through a video, it could be through conversations, it could be through writing a book, it could be anything. But each one of you over here has struggled. Each one of you over here who's listening to this has a message. And if you think about your speech having three parts, which is the content and the delivery, trust me, the delivery does not matter really so much. It really does not. As long as the speech or the content that you give has tremendous value. Have you heard a speech by someone whose language is not so great, whose grammar is not so great, whose video skills are not so great, yet his message was powerful. And all you could think about was his stories, his life, his message to you. And that resonates and that stays with you for the rest of your life. You don't think or you don't carry away his delivery style. You don't. What you do is you take the lessons from it for you. So therefore, when you speak, remember this as well. Delivery does not matter. I stopped myself several times not creating these kind of videos, thinking about how my delivery will look like, how my language will be. Am I presentable? Am I good on camera? But now I have shifted. I've shifted because I realized I have so much to offer and there's so much of experience that I have that it could add value even if it is even to one person. One person. It doesn't have to be to 100, 200, 500 people or 1,000 or a million people. Even if one person changes because of your message, your work is done. Your energy, which is a field that will be in between the speech and delivery, will get taken care of automatically. So I invite you ask yourself what are your lessons in life that could add value to somebody else think about it and ask yourself how you're going to share that with the world 
and I wish you a great morning ahead. I wish you a wonderful Friday. I wish you smiles and cheer in your hearts. Adieu as I leave for my job.